I'm Felix with Gurneys, and I want to talk a little bit about a couple of points on pawpaws. One of them is that when you plant a pawpaw, you need to have two trees. They don't generally set with their own pollen very well. They like some diversity in their gene pool, and so they want another tree to set the fruit. So make sure you plant at least two trees. And if you're planting varieties, there should be two different varieties. If you're planting seedlings, two different seedlings will work fine. The reason that pawpaw trees are generally understory trees and that you don't see them growing naturally in full sun locations has to do with the seed. Imagine this fruit falling down into the, onto the ground. A mammal would get at this and eat out the pulp. The seed is big enough that they can nuzzle that out of the way. Generally it will fall into the leaf mold there under the tree and get surrounded by it and stay moist and germinate the next spring. Or if the mammal picks up the seeds and carries it a little ways, it'll hopefully get into some leaf mold or something, some nice soil where it can get surrounded by some moisture. Again, cold period during the winter and then it'll germinate in the spring. If this seed dries out for even just a couple of days, germination drops way off from what normally is by a well-handled seed, 95% germination it would go down to 5 or 10%. So it's very important to keep this seed moist for it to germinate.